Okay, welcome to Vlogmas Day 2. And I have not sat in this chair and filmed the video in a really, 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 really long time. The only thing you're missing now is my bear robe. Need to get me a bit. It's not cold enough for the bear robe. It's like 60 some odd degrees outside, so... It's definitely too warm for the bear robe, but you know, it'll be here eventually. Hope maybe not during Vlogmas though. We'll see. You know, I mean, I'm okay with um, not wearing it. I mean, let me stop. So, today has been a um, rather uneventful day. Um, I worked from home today because, you know, I'm still a little under the weather. I feel. 10 times better than I did on Monday and about five times better than I felt yesterday. I feel good. So this is how I tie up my hair now when I'm going to bed is um, I put on a bonnet and then I put a scarf over top of it and I tie it over here like closer to the back of my head so that even though this is too tight um so that it doesn't pull on my edges because i realized that was what was pulling on my edges and so my edges have grown a lot lately since i've been doing this because i stopped wearing scarves i stopped wearing um head scarves because my edges were being pulled but um when i only wore a bonnet my edges were still not um staying and I realized it was because my bonnet was moving so you know my edges you know I think like everybody your edges are your most sensitive part or your most most fragile hair so I realized that what I need to do is put a bonnet on so that it's not tight but then put a headscarf over top of it to kind of keep my hair my my stuff from moving while I'm sleeping and so I'm going to tie it better but it, it does stay on. It usually stays on all night. So, you know, that's how I do it. So I made dinner. Okay, here's my dinner tonight. It is um, a little bit of rice. Brown rice, I think. I think it's brown rice. I don't remember anymore. Um and stir fry with some chicken thighs, boneless chicken thighs that I cut up. Ella and I went downstairs to look at the decorations. <laughs> good and it today was apparently the um you know fall finale or winter finale or whatever finale and it's not gonna be back on until march I'm like march what in the world but i forgot american idol it's probably american idol tie-in kind of thing i stopped watching american idol a long time ago literally i couldn't tell you who the last at least five American Idols are. But anyway, so that was my day. And there's two things I need to do that I haven't done that I talked about in a previous vlog. Well, one thing that I talked about in a previous vlog, and then one thing that um, is a usual vlog miss for me that I somehow have not gotten to. But it's only day two, so it's all right. Okay, the first thing I'm... Um, that I need to talk to you about is my Black Friday and Black Saturday haul or whatever you call it. I guess my holiday haul or my holiday <laughs> where I went into Target. I told you guys I went into Target with the intention of buying two things and I came out with a whole bunch of stuff. 
one bag actually had the stuff that I went for, which was, you know, just basic necessities. And then the other bag had all this stuff that I wasn't supposed to buy, but I bought anyway. So the first thing that caught my eye was this um, red, white, and blue poncho with a fur collar, a faux fur collar. And I saw this thing and I was like, oh, I have to have it. And do you know, I tried on several, several, okay? Not one, several. And I even had to rebutton the collar. But it's basically a black and white poncho with sleeves. It has sleeves, um, but they unbutton, so you know, you can make it wide if you want to. But it's basically a poncho with a kind of, a little itchy of a collar. But it's really cool. Um, I don't really have the body type for um, ponchos. Ponchos look better on people with um, bigger tops than me, but I didn't care. I wanted it. I saw it on the mannequin and I was like, uh, I have to have that. Um, the size I got was the small medium because when I tried on the large, extra large, it was way too big. I mean, it looked like, it looked crazy. So, and you know, ponchos fit really big and stuff. So, yeah. And now I got it. Um, it's by the Morona brand, the Target Morona brand um, that you guys can hopefully see. And it was regularly $39.99, and I think I got it for a little over $20. Because everything in the store, or everything Black Friday they had on sale was like 40% off was all their clothing. All the clothing, women's, men's, I don't know, every piece of clothing in the store was like 40% off. So the collar is a bit scratchy and itchy um, and definitely needs to be brushed. I really actually think what happened was somebody took this off of another one because they didn't like it. Because I had to reattach this, it was it was attached wrong, and so it looked funny. I was like, why is this not looking like the other one? And so I think that's what happened. They took this off of another coat that was probably look like this, because this one's a little weird and matted, but you know, we're gonna work it out. We're gonna work it out. I got plenty of brushes in this house. I can make this work, but it's a little itchy. Um, at the collar but you know if you wear a turtleneck or something like that you won't even feel it but it's really cute and something I don't I don't know I just wanted to try it I feel like this is the time to pick up some trend or whatever and you know try it out and then of course you know then I picked that up first and then I was like okay that's all I'm getting I'm gonna get my stuff and I'm gonna leave then I walked past and they had all these DVDs and Blu-rays on sale. A whole bunch of them. And I was like, I don't even remember which one it was that I ca that caught my eye. But I picked up a whole bunch. They were various prices. Um, no, The lowest price was like $6. And I think the most I paid was $10 for one. And so, yeah. Um... The first one, or I'm not going to pick them in order because I don't remember how I got them. But order I got them. I think this was the first one I picked up though. And it is the second best Marigold Hotel. Doom! And this is the Blu-ray. And I told you guys when I saw this movie, I absolutely loved the first one. The first best exotic marigold hotel and then i love the second one i think actually the second one's slightly even better but they're both really good movies and i don't think i have the first one but now i want the first one because i have the second one so why not have the first one um it's a really good movie love it it's a cute movie it's it's i like it it's my kind of movie um, I think this one, this is a Blu-ray, so it was probably, it might have been $10. I'm not really sure. But, yeah, this was the first one I picked up. 
Um, another one I picked up was Home, which I actually did not see in the theaters. And um, this is the Rihanna one, the show, the um, the one, the show, the movie where Rihanna is the um, voice of the little girl. And this is the party edition. I'm not really sure what that means. Um, but it says, shake your bob thing with home party edition extras. Oh, it has some songs. So anyways, this is a DVD, Blu-ray, and of course, digital. I don't know what this one, if this one is, um, if this is just the Blu-ray. I think this one's just the Blu-ray. Um, yeah, like I said, Blu-ray, DVD, um, and digital. This light is shining really brightly, so if you can't see, I'm sorry. Um, Pitch Perfect 2. I've been hemming and hawing about Pitch Perfect 2. I actually think Pitch Perfect 2, it's not as cute and sweet as the first Pitch Perfect, um, but it's a good one. I did like the movie. Um, I didn't feel like I needed it necessarily to buy it when it was in the in the stores. And this is also a Blu-ray DVD and digital HD. And I like this because I can use it in a DVD player or a Blu-ray player. Um, but um, it was only, I want to say if this was $10, it was $10. Um, this might have been maybe the most expensive expensive one I picked up um I feel like for ten dollars for blu-ray that's fine um I didn't want to pay full price for it because I, I thought it was okay but not full price for it then we have um think like a man 2 which is this is actually the dvd I never actually saw this movie in the theaters I don't remember seeing it in theaters and looking at the cover shot none of this looks familiar to me so I picked it up because I want to say this was like six bucks and I was like well you know I like the first one um it won't kill me to watch this one um and hopefully I'll like it so I have um think like a man too and then last but not least I don't know why I'm sucking my teeth but last but not least, um, I picked up Magic Mike. And they only had it in DVD because, trust me, if they had it in Blu-ray, I would have got it. Um, this was, you guys know, I told you, this was an amazing movie. This was, out of the two Magic Mikes, this is the Magic Mike XXL, the second one. The second movie is by far exponentially better than the first one even though the first one was good this one is excellent it's f fabulous if nothing else you need to get it for two scenes there's two scenes in this in this movie that are um worth the price of admission but when this came out it wasn't on sale you know because you know the first week when um dvds come out they're kind of you know cheaper and that's when I buy them if I'm gonna buy it and this was not cheaper it was like $22 and I think the DVD was like $20 and I was like I'm not paying that for the first week what no so uh, I want to say this was like $10 maybe this might have been $10 um yeah so I decided to go ahead and buy it I was like why not I'm here whatever um Saturday I was out running some errands and I was actually on my way home but I stopped um, at a store that I actually wound up not going into because um, I looked on my Instagram and I follow Bath and Bed Bath and Beyond I was going to call it Bath and Body Works. Actually, no, it is Bath Bath and Body Works. <laughs> I followed them, them on Instagram, and they said that that day, which was um, the Saturday after Black Friday, all their candles were $12. All their three-wick candles were $12. So I hightailed it to the mall, which I didn't really want to do because I had already passed the mall, but, you know, whatever. 
and I picked up four candles. I did the math and I was like, wait a minute, how many do I want? I didn't bring coupon with me because I have two coupons that of course I never have coupons when I eat them. Um, but I picked up four candles and so I will tell you what those four are. So here's the bag that's always really heavy. Um, I needed new candles so I was so happy when they um, said that they were um, on sale. And a lot of people on Instagram were pissed off because apparently they had all spent money on candles the day before on Black Friday. And I was like, well, like I said, unless they tell me they're $12 or $10 or something, I don't move because I'm not paying full price for these, which is $22.50. I like them. I don't like them $22.50. And I've realized that for me, buying four is enough. When I buy six, I always have just one too many that I need, and I don't burn them in time for the new season. And then you have all these, you know, like fall candles in the, you know, in the winter and stuff like that. So four is enough. I burn them, and then by the time they go back on sale, I'm ready to buy new ones. And so, of course, they're all the um, kind of Christmassy winter scents. And I think these are more like Christmassy winter scents as opposed to winter scents, but I don't know. The first one I got is, um, it's called The Original. And this is a white barn. I'm not really sure why some of them say white barn and some of them just don't say anything, but, you know, whatever. This one is, it says, bring home a classic with this soaring blend of the vetiver, vetiver, I don't know what that is, black pepper and a hint of pine wood. Y'all know I like me some woodsy smelling stuff. But this doesn't smell like, it kind of smells like a man, but it's not quite that bad. Um, not that men smell bad, but it's just, you know, um, some of those really cologne scent, scented candles can become overwhelming really quickly. And this one's pretty good. I don't know how it'll smell um, burning, but just smelling it, oh, it smells woodsy, kind of cologne scented so if you like man scented um candles which i love um this one works and it's called the original then the next one i have is marshmallow fireside which i Fireside is very um, masculine smelling also. It's very cologne smelling. Um, but the Marshmallow Fireside has more like um, a, um, a sweet overtone or undertone. It's not really, it's, it's not an undertone though. It's more like you smell sweet and then a little smoky underneath. So it's definitely more of a sweeter candle. Um... This one says, a sweet toasty end to a cold day, toasted marshmallow and sumptuous vanilla cream blend in a comforting aroma of rich smoldering wood. Yep, exactly. That's what it smells like. Something sweet and then kind of smoky, just basically like a, um, a toasted marshmallow. Oh, gosh, now I need to make some more. That might be one of the things that we make during Vlogmas. <laughs> okay, the next one I have is Mahogany Balsam. Balsam. This one is kind of Christmas, not really Christmas tree smelling, but very kind of, it's very woodsy, of course, because, you know, I love me a woodsy candle. But it's not, um, uh... Yeah, I was going to say, my, it's yeah. Okay, this one is described as a walk through holiday woods with the aromatic fragrance of fresh green balsam, juniper berries, and a rich mahogany. So it's very woodsy, kind of like you're walking in the woods and it smells really good. Mm, but I imagine walking through a Christmas tree farm. That's what I imagine it smelling like. Just like, you know, yeah. That's what it smells like. 
walking through a Christmas tree farm. And then the last one I have is um, a white barn candle and it's called Wish and it says Christmas Spice. And so um, this is, this smells like um, the clove, I, th I forgot what it's called, cloves and buds or something like that. It basically smells like that. And this one is, yep, cinnamons. Yeah, the, yeah. Um, the <laughs> description is a warm, inviting scent made from the classic Christmas spices, cinnamon stick, ground cloves, and nutmeg that makes sure to become a tradition in your home. I always buy a clove scented candle to burn around Christmas time when my tree is up because I love the scent of cinnamon and kind of like that woodsy, nutsy scent in my house when it's Christmas time. So, yeah. So those are my um, candles that I bought. I did do really, really well. From the tops of them, the tops um, of three of them have like this kind of, uh, what do you call it, uh, snowflake design. And then the original just has the regular um, bed, bath, and no bath and body works i you know i told y'all i always mix those together <laughs> bed i call bed bath and beyond bath and body works and i call bath and body works bed bath and beyond so i never get it right one day i will anyways then last but not least a vlogmas tradition for all the years that i've been doing vlogmas that i never finish and then of course now that i want to do it it's not here but let me start with i'm talking about of course the advent calendar. Dun, 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 Bam. And of course, I have two, like always. Yes. Okay, this is advent calendar number one. And it says, take the magic carpet here. So here is one. I hope all the candies are different. It's a little bear. Aww. And then number two is up here. It says, uh-oh, you forgot your ski poles. Move back one space. Okay, I don't know what the value of that is. <laughs> this is, it looks, looks like it's the same. Come on. Oh, no, it's not. It's a... I'm not really sure what that is. What is that? I don't know. But anyways, <laughs> so I have a bear and a, I don't know. <laughs> is that a bird or something? I can't tell. Best part about being behind is I get four pieces of candy. So today, we're going to do door number one. The candy is actually pretty good. Um, I'm get it out. There we go. Oh, it's a little train. A little choo-choo train. Oh, nice. Candy is pretty good. And I got these advent calendars, both this one and this one at Trader Joe's. And they're like 99 cents a piece. Here's number two. Number two is here. And this one, they're hard to get out though. And this is, oh, and I skate. Oh, there we go. So, those are my advent calendar chocolates for today. I don't have the story and I'm kind of sad that I don't have the story. Maybe next year I'll plan better and just order one and just, you know, suck up the price so I can have the story. Because, you know, I've never finished a story. Anyways, good night. See you tomorrow.